morning my besties welcome back to another vlog i'm just getting up for the day and today is friday it's february 2nd i have struggled so much with my self-confidence and it's something that i'm still working through even now this past week has been like a really good week for me but there are times when i definitely don't feel like 100 and i think that when you are struggling with your self-confidence you really have to evaluate like why you're not feeling confident and there's a few things that we put our confidence into we make our confidence something that is external when confidence really comes from within and it's all inside of you and so if you are putting your confidence into external things like your possessions the things that you own or in other people and what they say whether it's people in your family, your boyfriend, your partner, or it's people online, if it's your looks and how you look on the outside, or if it's your achievements and everything that you've accomplished in your life, if you put the weight of your confidence in any of those factors or in all of those factors, then chances are you're not going to be fully confident. If you are struggling with self-doubt, it's probably because of one of those things and I have done that. I am guilty of that. I still do it and I still work towards getting more confident. When you look at all these factors and you start recognizing like what you're doing, I think that you're really able to change yourself and become more confident. The way that I've found myself to be more confident is when I actually keep the promises I make to myself. When I say that I am going to get up at 6 a.m. and not snooze my alarm and I actually do it, I feel so good and I've been doing that every day this week and it has made me feel amazing amazing like my confidence is so much higher and it's not just with waking up early it's with so many things in my life so i've been really pushing myself to keep the promises that i make and that alone has just been making me feel so much more confident just know that like confidence really comes from keeping those promises continuing to do them and then also reward yourself and tell yourself that you're doing a good job and have like positive reinforcement because that will really make you feel like you're on top of the world you just have to figure out like what promises you want to make for yourself and then keep them every single day so we're gonna go through my day and it's gonna be a great day Another promise that I made to myself is taking my vitamins every single day. I used to be really bad about this. I would forget, but now I've told myself I have to do it every single morning. It's part of my morning routine. I just want to take care of my body and I know that it's really important for me to take these. I get my vitamins from Care Of and they come in these little individual packets and you get a 30 day supply so the whole thing comes in this box and care of is a health and wellness company that sends high quality personalized vitamins supplements and powders to your door every single month and i like the fact that they come in these individual packets you can put some in your purse your gym bag or bring them with you when you're traveling and then you'll probably have one on hand if you do forget to take it in the morning now care of does have some of their best-selling vitamins in bottles if you're not ready to sign up for the monthly subscription service so you could check that out too but it's really easy when you sign up with care of you take a personalized quiz online and you just put all the information in that they ask you it shows you like doctor back recommendations of what you should be taking based on what you put in the quiz about your health and your wellness goals and so I've been taking a multivitamin with iron for which helps with mood and stress and then also collagen and these have 
have a lot of great benefits. They've been good for me and I've been taking them for the last couple of months. I've also worked with Carob a couple of times. So thank you guys again for sponsoring the video and partnering with me. I love the vitamins and I really do like the little packets, but I will have it linked in my description box for you guys. You can go to takecareof.com and use my code babyhey 50 for 50% off your first month supply with care of. Again, it's takecareof.com and then the code is babyhey 50 for 50% off your first month with care of. I'm gonna get ready for the gym. I've been walking in the morning around 7 a.m. and that is another promise that I've made to myself. I've only been doing it two days a week as like my main promise. I've been saying that I wanna walk in the gym in the mornings on the days that I train upper body. I've I've actually done it a couple of other days and then I feel even better because I am just like surpassing my expectations for myself but I do love walking in the morning it's a great time to listen to a podcast it really wakes me up and just like gets me moving because when I do first wake up in the morning like I am not initially a morning person like I am not a morning girly I would sleep so long if I could. I love to sleep in and I need my sleep. Like I need eight, nine hours of sleep. So waking up early is really hard for me. And when I wake up in the morning, I feel tired and just kind of like I'm dragging like I'm a little sluggish it helps me to walk in the morning and just like get my body moving whether I walk on the treadmill I go to the gym and train legs or if I like go to a workout class it just like feels good no matter what movement I do today we're training upper body I'm gonna walk on the treadmill listen to a podcast then I'm gonna do back and biceps after I always listen to Ed Milet which is how I've learned about like all of this Ed Milet is my guy like he has been changing my life so if you've never listened to Ed Milet's podcast you should I also have his book which I've learned a lot about this from too The Power of One More it's a really great book but the set today is this one from Recreation Sweat if we're talking about like outward confidence I do feel good when I wear like a matching workout set or when I like wear something that I just like feel good in so I know that confidence mostly comes from internally but I do think there are things you can also do to boost your confidence in the moment and make you feel good on like a day-to-day -day basis or also just like motivate you and when I pick out a cute workout set that does motivate me to go down to the gym and I like the way that I feel in it so I'm gonna do this one from Recreation sweat this color is also so good like this is just giving classy i love the neutral i don't know i'm obsessed i will link it for you guys if you want to get it i know that working out can be really hard and also waking up early like all this stuff is not easy to do and i don't even want to do it all the time but I do push myself to do it because when you do things that other people aren't willing to do, you are going to have things that they won't. And that's just like period. So push yourself, get your booty down to the gym, do your workout, move your body. And that's what I'm going to go do. And I'm feeling good in my little set. <laughs> yesterday I used to drink the milk one which I do like it but honestly you don't get very much in the container and it felt like it was a waste of money when I saw that Khalifa Farms came out with this one I was like yep I'm switching to that I'm gonna save a little money get the big container because it's the same ingredients it has only three ingredients organic almonds water and sea salt this one is obviously oats so we're gonna make coffee I'm gonna mix these and then I'm gonna make breakfast because I'm also hungry and I need some protein. 
I love mixing the milks and I keep seeing so many people say like oat milk and almond milk are out and they're not out for me. making breakfast and I always get so many questions about how I make my eggs I have a turkey bacon on right now and for the eggs all I do is spray the pan I crack the eggs right onto it and then I cover it with a lid you want to have it on like a low to like medium setting when you leave the lid on it the steam cooks the top of the egg and then you don't have to flip them and then they just come out looking perfect so I'll show you when they're done the eggs are done and look how perfect those are. You can see how the steam just like cooks the top of them. So try that out. I bought this bread at Trader Joe's. It's their cinnamon raisin and it is so good. I was gonna get the multigrain, that's the one that I usually buy, but they were out. And this one is so fun to just switch it up. shower and I'm gonna do my skincare I need to wash my face and I also have a few new products that I've been using so I figured I would give you guys an updated skincare routine my skin has not been like the best lately and to you guys it might not seem like it because I do have pretty clear skin which I'm very grateful for I have been struggling with my skin a little bit lately and I'll get more into that later but I just wanted to say that your outward appearance does not define you and that's not what you should base your confidence on I obviously can't like speak for everyone because I know that acne can be such a big struggle when it's all over your face and I'm not discrediting that because I can only imagine like how difficult that is. I have never fully experienced that so I can't say from my own personal experience but what I can say is that you're beautiful no matter what and remember that your beauty comes from inside of you and like the person that you are and how you treat other people and just like the way that you carry yourself. I know that it can be difficult to have acne and I mean I don't know fully because I've never like had cystic acne or anything but I just want to say that like you are beautiful for who you are and not what you look like so anyways I hope that helps some of you in any type of way but I get that it can really suck I've been using this Zio Skin Health Illuminating Serum and this one I just do a pump of it's pretty glowy it kind of gives you like shimmer and I really like it and then I also have their moisturizer this is their hydrating cream and I recently just got this one it smells so good and these products are expensive I'm not gonna lie so I don't buy them all the time I like to treat myself to them every once in a while and I just like the way that they make my skin feel and then I have the Elta MD sunscreen you want to be wearing sunscreen every single day no matter what time of year it is like I get that you might think you don't need it when it's cloudy and overcast but you still get sun exposure and even if you don't go outside you get sun exposure by sitting in a window or is it in a window sitting by the window driving in the car also my esthetician told me that you can even get exposure on your skin from lights inside so just wear sunscreen you will thank yourself later when you get older and then lastly i have the pca skin hyaluronic acid lip booster so that's my skincare routine but you do not need to have a bunch of products i do really like these ones but your beauty is in you deep in you in your heart i'm gonna do a little bit of makeup but i need to Recurl my hair. All the curls are like completely falling out right now, so I need to fix this situation. I'm gonna do quick makeup. 
And I want to talk to you guys about something that I've actually never shared on the internet before. I need to turn a little bit because my mirror is right here. But I have been on birth control since I was 15 years old. I had my period when I was in high school for an entire month. I was bleeding so much, you guys. That might be TMI, but I got so sick. Then I didn't have it for a week and I bled for another entire month. I was losing my hair. I had no energy. I wasn't even going to school that much because I honestly was so tired and I just like did not feel good So my mom took me to the doctor and the doctor at the time told us that I needed to get on hormonal birth control to regulate my periods and my mom said that I went on one and then we switched it to another one and I'm not gonna say which birth control because I don't want anyone thinking like oh I should go take this birth control or whatever then I had been on it ever since then like literally for 11 years or 12 years. I've never wanted to talk about it because I feel like there's so much negativity around birth control. I honestly was just kind of embarrassed to admit that I have been on it for so long. It's kind of hard to explain, but in a way I felt ashamed for it. I let what I thought other people would say dictate how open and honest I was about it. And I just did that because I didn't want to get comments or hear about people's opinion I honestly have realized that that does not bother me I do not care what other people think and I'm not letting that affect me I've realized that the confidence that I get from myself is not by what other people have to say this year I decided that I wanted to get off birth control because it was kind of weighing me down like I kept thinking about how I didn't want to take it anymore but the truth is I've been so scared to get off like I've actually been really nervous about it. Just didn't know who I was without it. And I think that that's why I was afraid of getting off because I have never really experienced my life without it. I've always been taking it since like when I can remember. I was afraid to get off and not really know like how my moods would be, how my body would be, how my skin would be. And my skin has been breaking out like a little bit. It's been an entire month since I got off and it hasn't been like that bad for my skin, but I've definitely noticed like a little bit of changes. I know at the end of the day that that's just not good for your body and I'm not saying for everyone and I'm not shaming anybody if you're on birth control like I've literally taken it for 12 years so I get being on it for a long time and I'm not trying to get pregnant don't get it twisted I just feel like there's just so many other things that you can do there's so many other things that you can take and I just feel like for my own health and for myself and for like my future, I just don't want to be on it anymore. And so my hormones have definitely been fluctuating a lot. I'm trying, I'm trying to keep track of like my moods or how I'm feeling. And so I think I'm just like going through a transition period. I, I literally don't know. I'm doing really good actually. Like I am feeling really great lately. Like my body has been feeling good and I have been feeling more confident, which also comes with like keeping promises that I make to myself. And I told myself in 2024, I want to get off birth control. And I just decided like January 1st, I wasn't going to be taking it anymore just so I could see how I I am. I obviously am just trying to go through the phases. It's gonna take some time for my body to actually adjust. I don't know, it's just like so relieving to not be on it. I'm not saying that if you're on birth control, you should get off of it. I'm just saying from my own experience, like I've always thought about, is this affecting me? And I feel like I got to a point where I was like, I'm done with thinking about like the what if. I just need to try it for myself and actually see how I am. And so I think it's gonna be like really good for me and I already feel like it's going good, but I need to give it a little bit more time. I just wanted to share that with you guys because it was really hard for me to just get off of it. Hard for me to talk about and share online because I felt so ashamed and like embarrassed for being on it, even though you should never feel that way. That's what I was told to do at that time and that's what was right for me. And I never really knew any different. Obviously I feel like there's more stuff coming out about birth control and 
other alternatives and things that you can do and i just got to a point in my life where i'm like you know what i'm gonna try that and i'm gonna get off of it and i feel a lot better so that's something that's been up with me lately and i think that my confidence is already getting so much more boosted because i did something for myself that i've been really wanting to do for a long time and i've just never had the courage to do it and now i've finally done it and i just feel so good about the fact that i took that step and just decided like i'm gonna try something different for myself so even though i'm like going through a period of adjusting and like my hormones and everything i know that this was like the right decision for me and since i got off birth control that's why i'm trying to stay on top of my skincare more it's why i'm trying to take my vitamins and just make sure that i'm doing everything that i can on my part to take care of my body internally because obviously that's like a really big change for me and i'm gonna be feeling different and i am trying to like get through this period of adjustment i'm gonna get dressed but i just wanted to tell you guys that because i want to be like more open and that was my step in like really trying i got this bodysuit from skims it's the fits everybody long sleeve one the crew neck i really like the brown and i got it in two extra small and then i also have their bra underneath it's the wireless form push-up plunge and the whole thing just looks so good because there's no wire underneath so i'm very into this look and then i have my black levi jeans on i'm gonna leave and go to a coffee shop in a little bit i'm gonna respond to a couple emails that i need to do right now they're just more like urgent and then i'm gonna do editing when i get to the coffee shop i texted brooke because she sent me the place that i should go to there's a new one and i want to check it out and bring you guys along with me it always makes me feel good to get ready and then also get out especially if you do work from home it's nice to just see different places go to different coffee shops so I'm trying to get myself to do that a little bit more. I'm going to film a TikTok as well. I've been getting back on TikTok and I'm really proud of myself. And now that it's February, my like goal for myself, this is a promise that I have to keep to myself, is to post three times a week on TikTok at least. So I can do that. Like that's not hard. I got a little something that I'm going to unbox for a TikTok. Brandon and my brother actually bought this for me, so I'm going to open it, but I'm really, really excited and grateful, and I know you guys are going to see it eventually anyways, so I wanted to show it to you guys and open it up. They got me the makeup bag, and I am obsessed, you guys. It comes in a mini, and then they also have a medium, but this is the large. I've been eyeing this piece for a while, and I really love it. I know it's going to be so timeless and something that I can keep forever, and the fact that it's from them is like even more special. Just so stunning. There's a zipper up here. And then there's also like a couple pockets in the inside, one back here and then two in the front. So I'm really excited to go put all of my makeup in it. I'm just like really grateful. So wanted to show you that because I'm so excited and it's so nice of them and I just feel so special. Anyways, I'm going to go to a coffee shop now and I'm going to do a little work there. I just wanted to film that before I left because then I can edit it when I'm there. I've been trying to post on TikTok more. I'm really trying to be active on there so if you don't follow me, you can follow me on TikTok. That's something that I'm just like really pushing myself to do this year. Brandon and I are going out to dinner tonight and I'm really excited. We're going to Monzu's, which is his favorite place to eat and we're going with two of our friends. So I redid my makeup and I used my new makeup bag, which I'm so in love with. And I'm just doing my hair. I wanna wear it back 
like the top back half up half down this is one of brandon's favorite hairstyles that i do and i think it will look cute i show you guys a lot when i make dinner at home and when i cook at home because i do try really hard to be healthy but i also go out to eat and i like to indulge and i think that one thing that i try to do is just have balance with it i definitely put a lot of effort into eating healthy a majority of the time but we go out and we eat good <laughs> and it's really fun so that's what we're up to tonight our dinner reservation is at 8 30 so we're gonna leave and go in the next hour it's 7 23 right now so i'm gonna go to brandon's house first and then we're gonna drive together. I always like going places <laughs> in the same car just because it feels more like a date. I started getting ready like early so that I had time. And I also just wanted to make sure that I liked my outfit and my hair and my makeup because that does make me feel good and it makes me feel confident when I put myself together. I've been really trying to just be more classy. I feel like I'm in my classy era and just wanting to wear sophisticated outfits and things that are like appropriate for the right occasions and wear things that are stylish that I like that look good on me because whenever I wear things that like I actually feel good in then I definitely do feel more confident. I need to figure out what I'm going to wear though because I don't actually fully know. Okay, I'm all ready. This is the outfit. I did my black Aritzia top. I don't know if I showed you guys this. I already unboxed it a while ago and I was debating on if I wanted to keep it, but I really like it. I love the style of it and I don't know. I just think it looks so classy. It was expensive, so I wasn't sure, but I felt like it was worth keeping. And then my trousers also from Aritzia, heels from Amazon, and then my little bag. I put my having my ham not earrings in and that's the fit so we are off i need to go because i'm kind of running late and that's not good I'm editing this video right now and I totally forgot to film an outro so I wanted to come on here and say thank you guys so much for watching we had the best night you guys it was so fun we obviously went to dinner but when we were walking into the restaurant my camera literally died so I filmed the clips of the food on my phone and then that's why I forgot but it was so fun we ate and then we went to Red Rock Casino after and we were just there, Brandon and his friends were gambling, and we were there for so long. I'm pretty sure we stayed until 2 in the morning, and then the pictures that I posted of myself on TikTok and Instagram, if you guys don't follow me, you can go look over there. I literally took those at 1.30 in the morning because I realized that I forgot to get a photo of myself in my outfit, and I really wanted to get one. And then when we were walking out of the casino, my hair tie broke and there's a picture of me on my like swipe and all of my hair just like fell out. We were laughing and it was just so fun. So I had a really good night and I just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed just spending the day with me and I just wanted to remind you that confidence truly comes from within you and keep promises that you make to yourself because when you stack up those promises, it definitely makes a big difference and you do end up feeling more confident. So anyways, I love you all so much. I appreciate every single one of you and I'm just so grateful to have you here. So. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.